is time for we're gonna race the chat for first clears at noon. And I'm gonna play some levels from my buddy Coop Stroop to start and warm up, and we'll see what happens from there. All right. Thursday is upon us. It is Thursday, my friends. April 11th. Thursday, April 11th. Man. What's up, Walter? The time does fly, people. The time it does fly. It's an interesting thing, because the older you get... Relative to your own lifetime, time is shorter. You know what I mean? If you've lived 40 years, then one year is one fortieth of your life. Whereas when you're five, one year is one fifth of your life. So relatively speaking, time really does speed up as you get older. What's up, Evan Gerald? What's up, Sebastian? How are ya? How are ya? How are ya? How are ya? What's up, Ray Ray? Uh oh. What's up, Todd? All right. We'll call that good enough. We'll call that good enough, people. All right. So, what's the story out there, people? It's Thursday, it's April. It's nice to see the sun. It is nice to see the sun. I really, really appreciate the sun after a long winter. But thankfully, this didn't have that much snow. That was the bright side of this winter, around me anyway. Not all that much snow, which is great. That is great. And we're almost into the summertime. Gotta love the summertime. Alright, we're almost ready to get going here, people. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're almost there. We are just about ready. Just about ready. What's up, John? Hey, Greens! Shout out to you. What's up, James? Good afternoon for me. Good morning for James. There you go. What's up, Ty John? What's up, Gerald? Yes, saw that OJ Simpson has passed away. Greens, the allergy season is crazy this year. More rain expected tomorrow. Good morning, Dale. Okay, hold on, people. Sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. I love catching up with you. And then I lose my spot. <laughs> so hold on. Hang on, people. Oh, there goes Mario. Waited too long for you. Sorry. All right. We'll call that good enough. And then grand finale right here. And then grand finale right here. Alrighty, what's up, Dave? Timed out there, Ev. Okay. Well, let's get down to business, people. Well, it sounds like I just called you business people, but I just mean get down to business. Coffee's up, Greens. What's up, Michael T? Greens Blues. Two great colors. I used to always want to make all, when I was like in kindergarten, I'd want to make all my pictures green and blue. And then somebody ruined it for me and told me they didn't match. <laughs> the first of many experiences like that. <laughs> you know, I have another one. I was wearing brown and black together, and I went into some store at the mall, and the girl at the store said, uh, you know, that doesn't match, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, I guess I don't know how to match. It's been reminded time and time again in my life that I'm not that great at matching colors. Okay, but here, no, not endless. We're getting into, uh, we're getting into the, what's up, Patrick? What's up, Taylor? Hey, Corey. <laughs> Green matches everything. Look outside. Hey, that's a good point. That's a good point. All right. Here we go. Coop Stroop. Make some really tough stuff. And some kind of tough stuff. I'm interested in the kind of tough. A simple music level for a song you made. Okay, hold on now. We gotta we gotta support our buddy and check out his song, even though it's gonna be relatively easy. We're gonna we're here for the music. What's up, Lincoln? 
and we're going to start the races right at 12 p.m. Okay, listen to the music. There you go, Greens. What's up, Paulo from the Philippines? Oh. Okay. It's very nice. Kind of like a uh, lullaby. It's nice. Very pleasant. Very nice. It's got me, got me to stop talking. That's pretty impressive. What's up, Josh? Hey, Charles. All right. Nice song, buddy. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, nice. But the humans have adapted, seeing more shades of green than any other color. That's so interesting, greens. I wonder if that's true. That's very interesting. It makes sense. What's up, Maria? Hey, Sam and Yaya. Okay, great song. Very nice. Keep up the great work, buddy. I didn't even know you were a musician. Taylor wants another golden retriever. Good gracious, Taylor. How many dogs you got, bro? I know it's it's one of those things, though. It's interesting. That's another thing with uh, people. People and animals. Like, some people... Like, I want one dog and one dog only ever. I never want more than one pet. Whereas, and some people are strictly like that, where some people... They are insatiable. They want to have 5, 6, 10, 20. And then some people can't even have any. It's interesting. I, I wonder how much of it has to do with your exposure to pets from ages 1 to 5. I bet you that's got to play a part. What's up, Abby? Okay, let's get, let's get going here. Sunken treasure? No, 5 minutes is too much. What Bowser chooses to make his home. Anything uncleared, I'm going to be very wary of. Yeah, three practice doors. Okay, this might be doable. Oh, it's gonna. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. With two animals, then they interact with each other. That's true, Adrian. What's up, Fernando? Lincoln, no. Lincoln Saints, no chat in for Brazil. I'm not sure. I can't quite quite. Translate that in my head, Lincoln, but shout out to you. I see you had messages. Abby's got two dogs, a, a lab, and a golden retriever. There you go. You got the whole the whole crew. Okay, so, okay, Taylor, fair enough. Your best boy passed away two years ago, and now you decided to get another. Okay, fair enough. Shout out to you, Taylor. Okay. Precision with Big Mario underwater. I'm supposed to wait down here. Oh, no, I'm supposed to continue. Oh, that's how this goes. Up and around there. There's one here. All right, hold on. I think I might be able to do this one. I'm a little frightened by the three doors. That means we need to do all three. So this is probably a grind. Yeah. I'll come back to this someday. But I'm looking for five, six-minute clears here. That is definitely not going to be a five, six-minute clear. Master the Spinnerui. An ice wall spin jump. Ice wall spin jump. Well, we'll give this a try. This might be more my speed. I'm down for precision, but like I'm saying, if it's three doors of precision with no checkpoint, that's a grind. Oh, it, it's a uh, copyright claim. What? And so, uh, I'd like to hear the sound effects. Sorry, people, I'm, I'm off to a bad start with my choices. There's three songs that get me copyright claims, and that's one of them. Two checkpoints. Okay, this is this might be what we're looking for. Here we go. We found it. Two checkpoints. Two checkpoints. Uh, the Galaxy theme, the Mario Bros. 1 theme, and the Mario Bros. 2 theme. Those are the three songs that seem... 
Like this one. This is another one. But I don't need the sound effects for this one, so we'll just play a song in its place. And hopefully Mario Maker 3 will be able to turn the music off but keep the sound effects. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that just be amazing, people? I think so. I think so, but I'm the streamer that always has to deal with this nonsense. Well, I'm not saying I'm the only one. I'm saying as the streamer deals with it, I'm a little more concerned with the worst of conditions in the highest definition on a television larger than life. Somebody's grief and pain out on display so I can have some entertainment. This is serious tonight. business, people. I hear the cries of the helpless and the bound in surround sound, but the speaker sheds no tear. It's got no No, eyes. that was the end. <laughs> Unbelievable, Patty Boy. Okay, well we found the right one. We found the right one. I wonder what's it like. Ouch. The Chomp Pound. Did you catch the name of this? It's the Chomp Pound. I wrote and recorded this song so long ago, people. But I really, I still like it. One of the only ones I still like. Oh, that was close. Oh! I got a LCD that's full HD 1080p. There we go. We got such a crystal clear picture made with millions of pixels. You would think I'd see the SOA. Okay, and now we have a checkpoint with different music. Oh. <laughs> okay. I see how this fits into the chomp the chomp theme. Uh, thanks, Michael T. Whoops. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be tough to stop. But we did. Alright, we have the key. I should have kept going. Glad there wasn't one on the right side. That would have made that jump very difficult. Up pipe. With the pressure on. Okay, it checkpoint, and now the copyright claim is back. So now we get to bring this song back. <laughs> Swapping back and forth. I keep my finger on the trigger while the statistics grow bigger. Go figure, distress multiplies. I wonder what's it like to be on the other side of my team. No, I definitely want to jump from the right side. This level is awesome, Mark. Take us a screenshot. This is by our new buddy Coop's Roop. I wonder what my life would be on the other side of my TV. Oh, a little taller than I realized. Guitar solo. There. There we go. What's up, Crystal? Oh my goodness! I looked away at the wrong time, but looked. Oh my gosh! Do you know how close we just cut that, people? Because if you don't, oh my goodness! That was awesome. Well, see, people, that was exa that's like the five, six-minute sweet spot I was looking for. That is like as much fun as I can possibly have in this game. Wow. Thanks, Alex. That was really tough in the best way. I think it's a wow. Thanks, Susie and Maria. Okay. And now we're way more warmed up. A little precise platforming under our belt. Thanks, Allison, Maria, Christian. Thanks, Mark. Good morning, Megan. Thanks, Abby and Yaya. Good morning, Nathan. Shout out to the crew. It's Thursday, people. It is Thursday. I'm rooting for you every step of the way. See you at the summit. It, wait a minute. This might be like a climbing level. We'll give it a try. Let's give it a try. Maybe a climbing precision. I mean, most climbing levels are somewhat precise, but not usually, like, spike precise. Usually, like, try to climb precise. Oh. 
I'm just kind of exploring here. Okay. All right, it's got the classic peaceful music. This could be just what I like. Okay, four doors floating. I'm a little afraid. Four doors, two coins. Dude, that is not easy. <laughs> uh, okay, if that that's the first jump of four doors... Let's try a different door. Let's see if it's any more approachable. I don't... Am I here? Yeah, I'm not good at low gravity, and this is going to be high-level low gravity precision. So I'm going to move on. And this is exactly why I didn't want to play the super world. I'm not, I'm not sure that that's in the super world, but that's exactly the kind of level that psh, I'm out of there. Not because it's a bad level, because I'm not good at that. You know what I'm saying, people? Okay, we got a 30-second speed run. Looks like a pretty tight timer. Huh? All right, let's give this a whirl. This is probably going to be tough. Uh, no, we're not racing yet. Going to race right at 12. So in 35 minutes, the races will begin. Lots of little interesting movement there, Gerald. All right, 30 seconds. No damage allowed. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this might, this, this might do it. This could be what we're looking for. I wonder if I can get away with a spin jump right here. Nope. It's just a controlled jump. In one way, it's obvious, but in another way, it's not. That What controls how high Mario jumps is how long you press and hold the jump button. That's one of those things like every Mario player knows in one way, but you don't necessarily consciously think of it. But once you start consciously thinking of it, you realize just how, like, th uh, this jump versus this one versus this one. See how each one's just a little bit higher? There's probably, what? I, uh, there's probably, I wonder how many. I wonder how many different... height jumps you could get. That was nice, Patty Boy. That's the spin jump. Three blocks up, that's the spin. Okay, progress. Progress. So yeah, so the point is, this first jump, you've got to press and hold the jump button until you stop hitting those coins. Nice, got it again. Okay, it's three blocks up, then four blocks up. And I'm talking about the height of the gap that I need to jump through. See, this is five blocks up, that jump. That was too late. It had nothing to do with how many blocks. And I'm just using block as a unit of measuring. Okay, progress. All right, I think we're going to be able to get this one. Oh, see, that's... I didn't hold the jump button for long enough. I underestimated it. Controlled Z jump, I should have guessed. All right, we're learning. We're learning. And this is the beauty of playing a level like this when the lives don't matter. When the lives don't matter, a mistake like that, it really is not very frustrating. It really is okay. Give it another try. Jump a little higher next time. Closer. It's really tough to judge how long to hold the button because you find out you needed to let go after you take damage. So it's like you only get the feedback after doing it incorrectly.
Patty boy. Great indication to get that first try. Well, you know what I mean by first try. Try! Oh, my goodness. Okay, he tried to indicate where to jump. Okay, progress. We made it to the second room. That was close. Oh my goodness! I keep over jumping that. It's close. It's really fun. I gotta say. This was the level to pick. And I'm so glad that it's 30 seconds. If it was any longer, I'd be afraid. But it's like right in the, right in the sweet spot for me. And this first section is difficult enough that it doesn't feel boring to have to do it multiple times. Even once you got the muscle memory down, it's still pretty challenging. There we go. What's up, Elisa? Okay, early jump, Pat, early jump. Oh, that was so cool! Wow! All right, that blew my mind. Wow. Come on now, people. That was unbelievable. Great, great indication with the shell moves, too. We got that whole second half on our first try, thanks to the indication. Wow. Wow, people. That's the real deal. Thanks, Elisa, Megan, Lee, Allison, Maria, Fernando, Elisa. wonder why they set the clear condition. I didn't even notice. What was the clear condition? What was the clear condition? No damage. Oh yeah, I, uh, yeah, you're right. I wonder why. Yeah, that's that is odd. I don't know. Well, maybe they'll come by. We can ask. All right, P-Balloon skills, hopefully with a checkpoint. It has a high enough clear rate that it looks like it should. If there's a checkpoint, we'll do it. If not, we'll probably bounce. All right, P-Balloon time. Yes, okay, checkpoint. That's all I needed to see, people. We're in. We are officially in. There we go. All right. P-Balloon challenge begins now. Survival. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, I like it. Beautiful. We found our next mission. Part of the trick here, I believe, is to pick... Nope. Wow, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. This is a very, very interesting challenge because the way that they throw, it's based on not only my position, but also their position. So if I wait on the right here, see that first toss? There we go. See, we made a nice big opening on the left side. I think we might have got a good cycle here. Uh-oh, but see, that's dangerous. Okay, we made it. Patty boy. That was really cool, but that was really tough. And thank you for the checkpoint. There we go. We're in. We're committed. That's the first one. <laughs> Can you go back through the pipe? Can you fly into the pipe? Can you go backwards and fly into the pipe? Which one? This one? Yeah. 
checking for the red coins, little red coin cheese there, Alex. Okay, so now our next challenge is here. Oh, it's a timed issue. That gets me access to this. And then I need to hit a P-switch of some kind. No! It's not that I need to hit a P-switch, it's that I need to have the P-balloon to actually do this. Okay. Looking for the cheese. Fair enough, Alex. This is a really cool level, Ev. I agree. I agree. Alright. Oh, that was close. Closer. Very difficult, but closer. You know, this really comes down to the beginning. You have to right away not get going and not bonk. I got away with a little bonk there. I don't think I'll get away with that, but we're going to try. Patty boy, we got away with it. Oh my goodness! Okay, we should have a next try. And this is why the checkpoint makes such a big difference, people. I can do all these rooms individually. I'm, I'm sure of it in, you know, five, six tries. But to do all of these back to back to back to back could take me a month. And some people like the, lo the longer challenge like that. Oh, that was good. That was not. But that was amazing! <laughs> All right! There we go. And that one's locked in. Now that one's locked in, people. All right. Now, top left. Oh, gosh. This one needs business. Oh, I'm already too late. All right, just take me out. That was perfect, Abby. I'm proud of that one. All right. Oh my gosh. That's really going to be tough. I need to barely hit the corner of it. I have to travel as small of a distance left as possible. I think I could probably make that all one go. But to what end, you know what I mean? Oh, buddy. Dude. I didn't realize just how tough that and that exit was going to be. And see, here we go again. This is amazing as a single challenge. But if I had to do all these in a row... Okay, I don't think you can do that. I'm going to try one more time. If you hold right just from the beginning of entering, I think it might work. Just gotta, I have to know. I'm going to remember. Here we go. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But yeah, these is individual challenges I love. Sweet spot. But this same level, without the checkpoints. Oh my gosh. I just can't even... I'm trying to figure out the way to express the change in difficulty. If this level is a 5 out of 10 difficulty, okay, then a version of this level without these checkpoints, it yeah, without exaggerating, it goes from a 5 out of 10 difficulty to a 9 out of 10 difficulty. 
the same exact level, the same exact challenges. The only difference is having to do it without failing. Oh, buddy. Because, see, I, imagine doing everything we've done so far, getting to this room, making one mistake, and you have to do it all again. It's that level of consistency. It's the, it's the same thing with the Kaizo level that will opt for practice doors rather than checkpoints. That greatly increases the difficulty on a very, very large scale. Okay, I think part of the trick here is we want to kind of go at an angle. There we go. There we go. And it's crazy that Koopstroop had to do it three times to clear check it. Exactly. Exactly. That's how we know Koopstroop as a Mario player is out of control. <laughs> They're definitely very skilled. All right, this is going to require a little bit of memorization. I would have liked a little more indication here. But actually, as I'm playing it, I'm kind of being corrected mid-attempt. Yeah, there was enough time to react, so I take it back. There we go. I think that's the only one section. That's the only section I one-shotted, ironically. The one that I thought needed indication. Just goes to show you how quick I am to one indication when it's not necessarily required or needed. I just prefer it. I like it. I like it. And there we go. Awesome level. Absolute joy to play. Thank you for going through the trouble of giving us those checkpoints, Coop. Because I'm telling you, for someone like me, it makes the level approachable. Whereas, like, the level I skipped earlier. It's probably a similar situation. What's up, Maria, Alex, Joseph? All right, here we go. Made it in 30 minutes. That's pretty impressive. Well, if he can make it in 30 minutes, I've got to beat it in 30 tries. I got 30 seconds on the clock. Whoa! Okay. Ba -ba -da. Ba -da. Ba -da. Seven seconds on the clock. I gotta hurry up here. There we go! Awesome. Okay, I didn't need 30 tries, just needed one. But it was awesome. So the really good play is a checkpoint level like that opens up the world record race. Right, that's true too. That's true too. If you're the small group of people that even can beat that all one try, you've got a world record to grab. Okay, that was amazing. Thanks, Mary, Fernando, Maria. There's the one shot, Ev. It was amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff. And we're going to start up racing for first clears in just a moment. Wait a minute. What do we have here? It's very difficult. Three clears. It's new soup, so I have to hope that the difficulty is due to ground pound cancels. If that's why it has a low clear rate, then we're all set. If it's, I don't know what else. If it's low gravity, I'm probably bouncing. Okay, it's not low gravity, but but there are three practice doors. Okay, this is interesting. This might be. You have to go between them. Okay, hold on. This might be amazing. This might be dream come true status. Like that. Okay, that's door one. I think the Z is just a suggestion. All right. So we'll take it from door one. Yeah, the Z is just a suggestion. But I have to get far. I have to be moving right quickly. And maybe that's why it's suggesting Z. There we go. Oh my goodness! 
<laughs> okay, we made it to the next door. This is so cool. Okay, now this is a dream come true. This is a dream come true level, people. Oops. I was way too early on the toss. Way before the indication. That's a Z jump. Okay, we're at the last door. We're at, and the clear condition is 10 coins. Exactly, Christian. Oh, no. That's one jump. I don't have to keep bouncing on the thwomp. Check this out. It's like this. Wow, that's not going to be easy. Just two jumps? Two thwomp jumps? Yeah. Oh, no. I think that's it. I think I'm doing it right. The clear condition makes the um, practice door work. Exactly. Oh, no. I think it's got to be just a big Z jump, right? <laughs> Let me try full speed run. Maybe it's just that you need full speed. Yikes, Pat. I was trying to generate max speed. Because normally I'd be coming off of a wall jump if I wasn't using the practice door. Okay, there it is. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're ready. We're ready for attempts. This is amazing. Coop, I love this so much. I know you're not here, ironically. But wow, this is absolute joy. Might be a little late here. Nope. Well, yes, I am a little late. Okay. This is so good. I wonder if I should go for world record on this. I wonder how optimized it already is. There we go. That was so good, people. What an amazing Mario. level. Mario time. Wow. That... I'm beside myself. Okay, and it is. The world record is a whole second and a half faster that, than that. So they found places to skip. Wow. That was so good, people. I can't even get over it. Wow. Wow. It was amazing. Thanks, Eb, John, Maria, and Elisa. These are unbelievable. 17-minute world record. I'm going to let you hold on to that one. The Lakitu gang. All right, Lakitu, let's see what you got. What's up, Paul? Thanks, Zach. Thank you, Jeff. They had some kind of skips in there, Nathan. They definitely had something going, because that was unreal. All right, now we have more traditional style. Where are those Lakitu's at? We know they're coming. Yeah. 
Okay. Paul, just playing some levels from Koopstrupa. Amazing level creator in the amazing game of Mario Maker 2. Over 30 million custom-made levels by random people like you and me. This is pretty cool. Well balanced. You gotta just control the Lakitu's. Keep in mind which way they're facing. Okay, now we have a grand finale battle here. Uh-oh. Very friendly. Okay, great level. Joseph's asking what my favorite Mario enemy is. Probably Bowser. They skipped on the power jumps at the beginning. It went with the Z jumps? Maybe. Maybe, but based on it being a full second and a half, I really do think they found some skips. But I do see the chat is bringing up the Z jumps, and I totally get it. But they got to understand the difference between doing the, the section with the floating piles with Z jumps versus not with Z jumps. There's no way that makes up a second and a half. I'd say best case scenario, it makes up a quarter of a second. So that's why I'm as convinced as I am that they found actual skips in there. Thanks, Balin, Elisa, and Maria. Okay, love that one. It was more on the friendly traditional side. Nice. All right, and we are nine minutes away. We are nine minutes away from the amazing racing for first Cleus. Okay. We've got a snowy stroll here. A snowy stroll. Ooh. Oh, I think that must be what makes it easy. I think I played the more difficult version because that little dude just saved me. That was silly. <laughs> It showed Z jump as an indicator. No, I hear you. I, t <laughs> I totally hear you. I feel like I'm, I should go back. I feel like I should go back to make it clear. Because I do. I fully grasp it. I grasp what you, what you are. I am in full understanding of the suggestion. The part that I don't think I'm managing to convey well enough is at its ultimate best. If I did those Z jumps better than any human ever could... Best case scenario, it's not going to save a second and a half. The ultimate best case scenario is that it saves like a half a second at the ultimate if it if it was some kind of miracle perfection run. And see, he spaced out those. Yeah, this is definitely the easy version. This is very tastefully done. Very tastefully done here. Oh no! Didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. Here's my new plan. The new plan is I'm gonna beat this level. And after beating this level, I'm bringing back that speed run with the practice doors I just beat. And we're going to actually spend like five minutes going for world, for world record. And I think that will give us the clarity. 
Oh, I really got lucky there. I didn't deserve that. Alright. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now we're gonna go work on this world record. See if we can figure things out. Level's very cool. The easy version, exactly, Sebastian. Because I played the other one yesterday. Excuse me. Here we go. No, here. Nope. Here. I meant to suggest the Z as one of many things. Okay, yes, and that I fully agree with. That I fully agree with. It's the reality of just how much time we have to make up. We, we obviously can't skip any of the coins. Now here's the Z's. Now how much time do you think that saved? Think, keep that in mind. Keep that. In, what's up, Dominic? Keep that in mind, right? Of how long that took doing the Z's. If anything, it, it almost looks slower, to be honest with you. It almost looks slower. I think I might have a better chance skipping them. Doing like this. Without the Z. You see what I'm saying, people? So this is why the Z, to me, is, uh, I don't know. I don't want to sound dismissive, but I want to make it clear why I'm not convinced that that means that much. If anything, after doing it a couple more times, I think this, it's probably more like that. It's probably big jump and just skip them entirely. And just not even have to break momentum. You know what I'm saying, people? Oh my gosh. Matchbox had a, a movie car collection. I don't even know what that means. Sounds interesting, though. Here we go. See? Big. S oh. Big skip. But then the other question is is it faster? Is it faster to run and skip here? Or is it faster to do small jumps all the way across? See, what's faster? I have no idea. Well, so see, there's still a full second. There's still a full second. There's still a full second here. But see, we can do a lot of the little things better. I want to just skip one. No, well, that's it. Gerald, I don't even think... I, I, it's less of me wanting to prove you wrong and more of wanting to show you what I was wanting to respond with. Let's go with one big jump. No. I think just jumping quickly. It's called the Star Car Collection? Okay, nice. See, we, we're stalling a little less there. That's interesting. Now that's interesting. There is potential to go up over the top there with that spring. Did you see that? If I get here fast enough... Yeah, wait, hold on. I wonder if that's it. I wonder if that's it. You, you can spin to the second pile from the wall jump? I don't know. Two minutes remaining. Yeah, it might go over, Christian. <laughs> I get well maybe I shouldn't though. You know what? Since anybody's holding me to it, then I'll just I'll just do it. In fact, I'll be right back. I'll be right back and then we'll get right to the races. Be right back and we'll get right to the races. <laughs> Yeah. 
There we go. Oh my goodness, we got it! Oh, buddy! That was tricky. Oh, well, there we go. Always great indication when you're dealing with Cry for Help. One of the reasons why he is one of my ultimate favorite level creators. Look at that indication, bro. Think of how wild that is to indicate, and he just did it. Great job with the 30 coin indication. Come on now. The indication is just unreal! The indication is just unreal. Come on now. Oh, mid jumps! Come on! It's so good! That's the one right there, people. And there it is. Cry for help, you are a legendary level creator, my friend. Incredible work. All right, all right. Let's get into the races, people. It's 12 o'clock. Time to race. <laughs> and sorry about that, Ronald. Your timing couldn't have been worse there. Ronald said, stop failing. I stopped the on the stream to see you beat it. So unfortunately, you stopped at the worst possible moment because I'm not going to beat it. But I did 10 minutes ago. Uh, we were just working on the world record there, Ronald. I need the coins. And that chat was pointing out you couldn't go over the top because we need the coins. And you're absolutely right. Good morning, Jessica! And here we go, people. You ready to race me for a first clear? If you got your Switch booted up, let's play. Level code is on the screen. Level has never been cleared. Let's see who can clear it first. Oh, gosh, that's a scary sign. That means you need to do one of these. Oh, my gosh. Maybe you can just run off once you're there? Yeah, that's what it is. You just have to start it off. And that has to be a later jump. We don't have to worry. Wow, that was a nice jump. We don't have to worry about the time. Thankfully. Uh oh. I knew it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be tough. Did they cheese it? Because, wait a minute, hold on. I got to investigate here. I have to investigate because the clear check is only 25 seconds. The clear check is only 25 seconds. Now that we've done the first room, let's see if doing it all together, how long doing it all together takes. See, we're going pretty quick here. We're already at 20 seconds. Right here. So this cheese. This there's some kind of cheese here. Up over the top there's something. There's something going going wrong here. Cause that now we're at thirty seconds. And this room has just begun. So there's there's a way to beat it in this first room. So let's see. There's 
it's nothing down there. Maybe it's enter this door? Is there a way to enter this door? Yes, there is, the pow. But how would I ever get back here with it? I, c I can't get back here with it. Wow. Any ideas, chat? No, there's the goal! Wait, here it is! Right here! There's the axe! So, the trick is, you go up here... It, it did have to do with the pow. Hold everything, buddy. Unreal. Unreal. Little investigation. And we found the truth. We found the truth. And there we go. I was too late. I was too late. Someone got it before me. I'm not going to like it. Uh, but now we know the truth. And big shout out to 64 Lewis. I don't know if you're in the chat, but shout out to 64. Getting it done. And there we go. Now. Still can get to the pile. Fair enough, David. Well, that's tough. That was a pretty wild one. That was a pretty wild one. 35 second water precision. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you can't touch the ground. Okay. Yikes. Well, we could enter that door. Oh! You get to almost choose your own adventure. You get to choose your own adventure here. I didn't want to stop. Okay, we're gonna explore here. This looks interesting. That's pixel perfect, so I can't do that. Okay, so the beginning's a lie. The real level is this. What's up, Trav? I think you can go first cycle. I have a hunch you can go first cycle. I'm wrong. <laughs> it was close, though. Definitely very close. All right, we have to wait here. Oh, come on, Patty boy. Trav's just chilling with his kid. There you go. What's up, Jesse? Yeah, I was looking for it. That's true, Nathan. That's exactly right. At that point, I knew the goal had to be somewhere in the room. I wouldn't have been looking for it had I not. If we didn't have the clear check time of the level creator, I wouldn't have been looking for it like that. Nathan's 100% right. Maybe that's the point where you're supposed to start swimming? Or maybe you, maybe you swim through all this. Maybe I just have the wrong idea. That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it, Pat? Yes. Maybe it's not what you think. As it often... Look at this. The end's right there, bro. Just can't touch the ground here. Oh, but there's only 12 seconds here for the end. Okay. All right, 
I was so wrong. I totally misread it with the um, staying on the ground. See how literally my mind goes? I, uh, like, it's so, it's so quick to jump to. Oh, okay, so you just don't jump at all. You don't swim. Okay, we got that one. I mean, I didn't dislike it. The part I disliked was the intro. <laughs> Excuse me. But the level's pretty fun. Thanks, Trav, Fernando, Jess, Lee, Osos, Maria, Alisa, and Jesse. All right, Dale was right behind me. We were sneaking around that one. Shout out to anyone playing along out there. Um, What do we have here? A blue stage. Minute 14? Nah. Under a minute. Well, one to two minutes. What's this? 19 seconds. Oh, and there's shenanigans. There's shenanigans up here. Something with a hidden P-switch. Not interested. What do we have here? Minute and a half? All right, let's go with this. All right, here we go. So why do you can cheese it? There you go, Fernando. Shout out to the one and only Fernando. And you know what? I should do that too. It's 12.10 now. I'll try that. And does it work? And that's fixed too. Okay. Things are getting fixed, people. All right. What's the story here? We have a shell. Passed up on a uh, power up. We didn't even need that. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this was like a okay, a lot different difficulty than the past two we tried. That was Lewis. That was a great level. It was just lower on the difficulty. Someone beat me to it. There we go. Wow, and their clear time is a tenth of a second faster. What do you know about that? And there it is. It's, it's Lewis. <laughs> Shout out to Lewis64. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Let's sync it up. Okay, Jesse would love to be playing along, but work doesn't allow it. Okay, thanks for that, buddy. Family-friendly stream. Kid show, come on. Uh, we're going to be skipping the dark levels, I can tell you that. This looks like a minute and a half airship. We'll give this a whirl. Dale just missed it. All right, we got some competitors in here, people. We got some good Mario players in the mix. For the rest of this month, my plan is going to be to do this from noon to one. To, so if you like racing with me, just have that in mind. For the rest of April, Monday through Thursday, it'll be happening from 12 to 1 p.m. What's up, Robert? we got to defeat a Lemmy. Okay, I'm glad it's not auto-scroll. How do you like that move? I want to do a duck jump here. How do you like that move, people? Are you impressed? Because I just ruined it. Oh! And then we were given a lot of grace. Patty boy save it. Good job. There's our fight. Here's our battle. Take damage, but it's worth it. We have to win the race. He could break through this. He could break through right here if he gets here. He ain't getting here. One more hit of damage, we're ready. Was it good enough? We're about to find out. Oh yeah, Mario time. Was it enough? 
It was. And that was a good one. I'm down with that. I am down with that. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jess. Jessica, did you listen to the song yet? That's Jessica by the Allman Brothers Band. One of the best songs ever. It's instrumental. Uh, but it is amazing. What's up, Bri? Always good to see you. We're racing for first clears here. Here's Uwu. Three minutes is kind of a long time. Uh, yeah. I think, oh gosh, I think between one and two minutes is the is the sweet spot. That's over two minutes. Yeah, I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't trust it. Okay, exterminator. Poison in my water, use the pows. Oh my gosh, three minutes is too long. Um, This is for Herb. All right, Herb. All right, this one's for Herb. Or Herb, like Herbie. You did not. You fell asleep. Okay, fair enough. Nice, Dale. Dale got the world record. Shout out to Dale. Dale, when are we making these cover songs? Come on. We're slacking. we got to get our music out there, Dale. Come on. Dale, we have to do this. We have to do it. This one's for Herb. The one and only. If you've never met Herb, I haven't either. Thanks, Robert. Oh, buddy. Okay, three people been in. Nobody liked it. This is for you, Herb. Well, there's a door there. <laughs> okay. Da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Copyright claim. This is a copyright claim. Yeah, I'm gonna abandon this. Sorry, people. Sorry, Herb. Have you ever listened to Coco Cabana by Bar Barry Manilow? Of course! I'm a fan of love. I have so many Barry Manilow records, it's out of control. In fact, tonight I'm going to pick a um, three minutes. Okay, I don't know why, but this is calling to me, so this is going to be the replacement. I am a fan of love. I have so many Barry Manilow records, it is borderline a crime. I, if you're a record collector, like I am, you will quickly find out, you know what's very common? Barry Manilow in Barbara Streisand. You start record collecting today, okay, and you're buying old collections. You just watch. Within a thousand records, you'll have at least 20 of both. <laughs> Barry Manilow and Barbara Streisand in Chicago. Ooh. Wait a minute, this might be this might be what I like. That's a problem. Do I have to use the uh Okay, this is awesome. I just don't want to actually wait for the platform. <laughs> hey, there's a checkpoint already. Oh, it could have kept going. coin up there. I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going for it. I don't think we need it. Oh my gosh! That was close. I guess we kind of need it for this jump. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that was unnecessarily dangerous. Which is basically how I play this game constantly. It's a lot more fun with a little extra danger. But again, that's... Oh, no, no, no. That is so hyper-specific to video games. In real life, I'm one of the most risk-averse people you will ever meet. That was close. Okay, we got another... This is a, an amazing level. I can't believe we just randomly stumbled upon this. Are you kidding me? for you. There we go. We ain't waiting. We're in a race here. We don't have the, the luxury to wait. We might have to battle, though. We battling? 
Oh gosh, that was a little scary. Look at this. I was expecting a battle. There we go. Awesome level. Not necessarily dangerous in Mario. My modus operandi. I probably didn't say that right, but I gave it a shot, Crystal. Got the first clear. That was amazing. Are you kidding? I knew that was calling out to me. Do you know how good that was, people? I can't quite convey. It might not have been obvious because I was flying through it, but I'm telling you, that was A-plus stuff. That was A-plus stuff. Who are you? You got a 40-level Super World. Is it too easy, though? 5% or less? That was a first clear. 3%. 3%? Wait a minute, right? 5% or less. That's what I just said. Lots of new soup. That's 12%. Oh, and 3D World? Okay, see, that's what I'm afraid of, is the 25%. Three-minute 25% is not going to work, yeah. Well, maybe I'll at least play your tougher levels. All right, shout-out to you, horn player. Glad to meet you. All right, thanks for the GG, Josh, Allison, Fernando, Crystal, Alisa, John, Maria, and Balaam. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, the new soup has been treating us pretty well. What's this? One minute. Oh my goodness, looks wild. Snake blocks. Uh, let's give this a whirl. Alrighty. You ever listen to George Clinton, Parliament, P Funk? Of course. You you name in all the great funk. You know what I really love? Tower of Power, Gerald. If you like George Clinton, Parliament, P Funk, you definitely got to check out Tower of Power. I've seen them live. And I hope I to see them alive again. Now, we could cheese this a little bit by doing that, but I don't think it's worth it. We might as well just do it for real. Tower of Power, what is hip? What is hip? Tell me, tell me. Okay, well, you kind of gave a free ride here. Oh, buddy. Okay. What are you telling me, buddy? That was so close. Trying to pay attention. Okay. I was not paying attention to the other side here. Oh, I got a little ahead of that one. Oh, good gracious, don't crush me. Oh, no, Patty Boy. Woo, buddy. Good save. Good save. We're almost through it. Oh, no. I didn't do myself any favors there. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. I was afraid for a second it was don't touch the ground. And I was like, don't tell me I just did all that only to mess up at the end. Sean wouldn't be good at this level. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, I wasn't quite good enough. That's a good play right there because I did it in what? Two tries. No way to rush that one. All right, appreciate you, Kiwi. What's up, J-Rug? There you go, Adrian. How good does that feel? Finish your last meeting for the week. All your tasks are done. It's 64 Lewis again. You are a real deal, my friend. You got that in what? Two tries. Big shout out to you. You barely beat me. Hey, you got it, Lewis. Shout out to you, buddy. Shout out to you. Dale wasn't close that time. Jumped on the flag. If I had hit the flag immediately, I would have got him. See? We were, we were neck and neck. 
Okay, shout out to you, Lewis. Glad you stopped on by. Glad you are in the mix, Mr. Lewis. Um, what do we have here? Well, it says Hidden Passage, so I'm not going to roll the dice with that. Eh. Look at this. All right. Let's, wait, is this something nonsensical happening? No, it's just a tough low jump. Let's give this a whirl. Alrighty. You'll get there, Dale. Dan! Big shout out to Dan the Man, a legendary streamer, gamer extraordinaire. Big shout out to you, Dan. And you got a free sub. Dan, that's amazing. Shout out to you, Dan the Man. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Sorry, people. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have bothered. I forget how forgiving... Okay, we managed to get that one. I forgot how forgiving the saw is. You can really... Uh... Whereas, because off the trick is, off of the wall jump, you obviously can't duck. So sometimes if it's like... If you have to do that between two spikes, it's literally pixel perfect. You have to get perfectly parallel. That's a lot of P sounds. Perfectly parallel with Super Pat. U. 22 seconds. Meh. Nah. Trimming the shells. Uh-oh. It's a trimming the herbs reference. Okay. We'll do it just out of curiosity. And the man. He is the man. You know what he's really, really good at? Final Fantasy Tactics. This is an underrated game. So, yeah. Trimming the shells. This is a reference to trimming the herbs. Okay, so the trick is going to be not losing the shell. Beep. There we go. So that's our first stack. That is our first stack. Oh, and we're timed here. Bro! Unreal. Look at that, though. Oh. All right. I can't believe... I can't believe it. I guess it's kind of fitting. Now that's a problem. It's kind of fitting since, um... Trimming the Herbs wasn't uploaded legitimately. I can't believe it! My strat that worked so well that first time is not working anymore. So instead, we're going to go like this. No! See, so that's part of... I, I must have got really lucky on that first toss. It must have been just right. It looks like I'm better off like this. There we go. That at least let me keep it. There. Okay, now this. Now. Now we know. <laughs> Did it didn't matter! <laughs> okay, real quick, we have to leave the comment. That's for sure. That much is certain. But now we have to actually get it. Let it go back and forth between the rocks. Oh. So this is the intended strat? <laughs> That's so much easier. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lee. As much as I play this game, it is embarrassing. Just how often I will just assume the, uh, the most difficult way to do it is the default way. 
Like, that, it, that should have dawned on me before Lee said that. That was what, like a full five minutes? Yeah, I did not deserve the first clear on that one. Okay, well, that makes me feel better. Lewis said you thought of that way too late. And Sebastian cleared it. There was another hidden star at the beginning. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on now. There we go. Okay, and there it is, Sebastian. Shout out Sebastian. <laughs> Found a hidden star at the beginning. Unreal. There you go, Lee. Well done. You were on point with that one. Look at this. 23 seconds. I'm terrified. All right. Oops. Dale was doing it the right way, but it took too long to get going. Didn't find the star. There you go. Fair enough. Well, now the hidden star placement makes more sense because I was like, they put it somewhere where you're almost guaranteed to activate it if you do what I'm doing. You have to make it all the way there. So part of the trick here is jumping as late as possible. Nope, it's not jumping as late as possible. Maybe it's a triple jump possibility? Either or it could also just be another hidden power-up situation. We make sure it's not as simple as... Oh, and I can just wait here. Just a waiting. Thank you, Ashley. Okay. <laughs> back to back. Mario time. Very silly overcomplications. But hey, that's what I'm serving up to you. If you come by Super Pat World, you can almost guarantee. And it was just wait. I mean, that's fine. It's not like they need to indicate stay still. But it would help me out. It would help me out if the levels told you when to stay still. Thanks, Lee, Josh, and Fernando. All right. Bada. What do we have here? Exercise. A minute of exercise? All right. I need all the exercise I can get, people. All righty. Here we go. It's Kaizo. It's real Kaizo, too. You can't get away with this. Bink. The one way you could get away, get around doing a shell jump is doing this. But you'd have to actually do it right. Unlike me. That was closer. I bet I could get it one more try. If not, I'll give it up. Oh, That's too early. All right, Patch, just do the shell jump. Just do the shell jump, buddy. How about that? Oh my gosh, it's three shell jumps. All right, it all comes down to this. And I fail! <laughs> Maybe I should force myself to do it the, the more difficult way. Or let's do it no protection. We're just going pure danger. There we go. Lee! Coming through with 500 stars! Thank you so much, Lee! You are the superstar leader. The star drop is for you! All right, I didn't get the first clip, but I got the world record. <laughs> Andy, shout out to you out there, Andy. You're a legend. My buddy. There's a Mario genius right there. Look at triple medals for my boy Andy. Shout out to Andy. A legendary legend. <laughs> Louis Terrible Sheldon's fair enough, buddy. Thanks, Fernando, Jesse, Terrell, and Maria. And Blue Goose took the world record. There you go, Blue Goose. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nice and quick. All right. Well, how about a little bit of, we haven't done too much Super Mario World. We've done a lot of new soup. 
Here's a big Z. 22 seconds. Nah. Too short. What well, between... Ooh, this could be interesting. Little precision. It's just one trick. Oh, it's not that it's one trick. It's that it's... Dev exit. Uh, boss battle? Okay. Awkward little boss battle. Let's try this out. You could get it with just one shell jump. Ooh, good eye. Good eye, Mr. Blue Goose. I didn't even think of that. I don't know how you did it. Oh, because you could just jump top to top? That makes sense. All right. We got a boss battle of some kind. Try to take a bet. Well, <clears throat> what we're doing here, Mr. Blue Goose, is we're battling for first clears. But I have done a stream in the past battling for world records. We'll have to bring that back. But at least for right now, it's just first clears. But I'll have to bring the world record challenge back, too. I think I'm safer here. Yeah. This is the way to do it. Wow, did you see that save? Now see? We actually, uh... Now that's a problem. That, on the other hand, is a big problem. Let's wait here. Okay, we got a chance. So you tell me there's a chance here. Oh, it's just a boom boom. And now we got a Bowser fight. Any chance we need this key now? Okay, the Bowser fight was a lie. Required! The Bowser fight is not a lie! <laughs> well then, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Bowser, can you keep coming, please? How do you ever make it? I, I need to grab a spring somehow. Is there a spring to grab? Yeah, there's a bunch bouncing over here, right? No, it's not going to let me back. Oh, buddy, the clear condition, Ashley. Okay. There's one way I think I can bring a flower, but I'm only going to be able to bring one. I'm going to have to take damage like that. No, that's not even going to work. No, I can't do it now. Oh, but here's my... Nope, I can do it. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> what is this? He's stuck in some pattern, which is really good news for me. Bowser's destined to move like this for the rest of his life. Oh, how is he gonna? Oh, he still do managed to dodge every one. Oh no, that the extra one helped him. There we go, people. Oh, 
All right. Oh, no, there's a dev star. There's a dev star. Okay, well, that makes that less exciting. And there's the 25 second. That's like the the big undoing. There you go, Andy. <laughs> Shout out to Andy. Lots of dev stars on the uncleared. The, the good thing is oftentimes you can tell just by the clear check time if it's too short. Andy made it. There's a shortcut on top with the wall jumps. It's time the shortcut. Logic to beat Bowser. Thanks, Sebastian. That explains it. Okay, this looks like it's legit. It took a full minute for the level creator to beat it, so I don't think we're going to be dev star on our way through this. Shout out to my boy, Andy. And also Sebastian and also Lewis. All three of you have uh, done great today. Well done, my fellow Mario warriors out there. Well, we got options. What's in the door here? Well, that's not a good sign. Okay, we can run on the water with this. for the end. Okay, we get more suits there. There's more frog suits all over the place here. Oh, you can just go around. You don't have to go through that. Oh, Pat, I didn't even see that one. There we go. I wonder if that's going to cost me the clear. We'll find out. <laughs> well, Mr. Blue Goose, we're racing for first clear. That's what I was trying to explain. So it's... There we go. We got the first clear. It's not really... Stre Usually stream sniping is one of those terms used for when it's underhanded or when it's like being used against the streamer. But in this case, I'm, I'm inviting it. I'm asking you to race with me. I'm putting the level code up for you. You know what I mean? It's like in the Fortnite equivalent is if, if I was putting up the some like invitation to the lobby. You wouldn't consider it stream sniping if you stream sniping if you joined a streamer's lobby and played with them. You know what I mean? So it's kind of more on that side. I'm saying, hey, let's race. And that was pretty good. I don't know why they did the, the arrow. In fact, that normally that would keep me from liking it. I'm kind of surprised. But it's because I enjoyed it. But now in hindsight, I'm remembering the there's an arrow right this this is what would normally keep me from liking it the arrow that points to your demise uh, but I, I didn't think of it in time all right what do we have here a minute this looks too easy here's 40 seconds eh, we'll give it a try it also looks easy but it might might surprise us or might just make for a good quick race too There you go, shout out on the world record there. There you go, Blue Goose. Yeah, I wish we got clear check time, like, right on that screen, Nathan. No goodies? There's the goodie. Just a little bit of the uh, 
enemy spam genre. But it wasn't unfair, and they gave, gave you power-ups. Relatively friendly level. I'm down with that. There you go, Suze. You're part of the team. On the pause screen, Nathan. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Fernando, Susie, Lee, and Allison. All right. What do we have here? Two seconds. Oh, I see what the move is. I see what the move is, but I don't think I've ever done it. I'd like to try. When I activate this block, it's going to send a piranha upwards. And there's a brief window of time that it won't hurt me. <laughs> See that? See how it switched? There's a brief window when the first piranha gets taken out and the second piranha comes into play. So what I got to do is hit this, jump, and then wall jump to the left. And if I do it... If I do it right, I'll make it through. And it had to be before the bomb made it to the uh, on-off on the right side. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There we go. Didn't get it. But I liked it. I liked it. Let's see who got it. Thanks, Balin, Fernando, and Susie. Whoops. Okay. I don't know if you're watching the stream, but shout out to you. Shout out to you, buddy. Can I do it again? Sure. You missed because you were racing. Okay, fair enough. It's it's just going to be all one motion. So I'm holding right from the beginning of the level. Jump, jump, jump. And then you're by. But see, you have to be faster than this down here. That's what I was trying to show at the end there. So that's what forces it to be all one motion. But you're just jumping and then jump, jump. Jump, 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 and then hit the flag. Just like that. What, and it's not... In one way, it's easy, but in another way, it's not. If you've never... If you haven't done many time attack levels, that move might feel more difficult. But uh, if you've done time attack levels, then... Well, and I know you have, Dale. You've submitted a couple to me. So it's that. Just pretend it's a, it's a one-move time attack level. Look at this. That kind of thing is beyond your thumbs, and that's totally fair, Nathan. Totally fair. Hey, this looks awesome. Looks on the easiest side, but also looks awesome. <laughs> Dale saying it's so hard. I, that's what I'm saying, Dale. I don't want to make it. I'm always torn between both sides. One side that would call that really easy and one side that would call that really difficult. And it's true in both ways. Depends on what it's relative to. Oh, interesting. Like relative to a full 10 second time attack level, that one's really easy. But relative to like a typical speed run. Oh, that's my entrance. Or to a normal wall jump, it's a billion times harder. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening at the end, but it looks cool. Okay, that's the beginning. Now, what exactly is going on here? Is it this? I need to get up there, so no, I am. I think I am supposed to take the bottom path. That almost did it. That felt like it was kind of what the level creator wanted. There we go. One, two, 
one-ups. Wow, that was tricky. There's a Z button there that I'm afraid of. Oh, I'm back to the beginning. This isn't going to last the whole level, so I'm going the wrong way. It must be this. No! Okay, this is crazy. You doing these for Team 0%? Yeah, well, sort of. I mean... Team Zero Percent, it, my, the motivation to play this right now isn't for the sake of Team Zero Percent, but any time you get a first clear, it sort of serves them. <laughs> so in one way, yes, but another way, not in particular. But I'm very down with, oh, I'm very down with um, Team Zero One Percent. Team Zero One Percent, Team Zero Percent. We race until 1 p.m. We are racing until 1. We might go a little, little extra because I started late. That was unfortunate. But this stream is going to be a 11 to 1 going forward. Ouch. In the latest stream, <laughs> Team Zero 1%. In the latest stream. There we go. Is now 8.30 to 10.30. Uh-oh. I don't know how I did that. I just kind of did it last time. I wish I was a bit... I wish I w had been a bit more intentional so I had a strat, but I just kind of did it. So I'm trying to think of the best way to replicate it. You enjoy the race and interactive streams. Nice. You like them all, but that's become your favorite. That's awesome to hear. Shout out to you, Sean. Maybe you're just supposed to do that one at a time. Oh my gosh, Pat. I thought I was in the clear. Okay. Well, I think you probably have enough time to do that. We're going to go with that as our answer. was good. That's what we want. And now we do this without actually being all the way to the top, Patty Boy. That's all. All right. New stuff. We've never been here. Fourteen seconds left. Nice! All right. Was it good enough for the first clear? That I don't know. But it was at least good enough for the clear. It was not. Okay. Shout out to the winner. And did I like it? I mean, it was a little tough to decipher, but once I understood what to do, I really enjoyed it. So based on that, we're going to like it. Based on that, we're going to like it. Nathan's loving the racing streams, but you're off your game today. That's all right. And there's Lewis. Lewis coming back again. I think the third or fourth for the for the stream. Shout out Lewis sixty four, who also has a medal. Which medal you got, Lewis? Endless expert. No way. You're an endless expert player. Nice. Almost two thousand. Very nice. All right. Shout out Lewis. Nicely done. All right. Let's see if we can get one or two more in here. Blue 64 dominating. But that run died, yeah. It's always sad when that happens. <laughs> it's like, uh, and you never quite forget. You never quite forget. I'm still mourning my 1,239 Endless Expert No Skip. That's the dev exit. I should just go to page two. Charlie's Adventure. Minute. All right. Whenever it has somebody's name in it, I'm always more likely to play it. Like if it says it's for somebody, 
if there's a real name in it, that makes me trust it more. Which is not always proved to be the best idea, but sometimes it does. All right, Charlie. This is Charlie's adventure course. So hopefully Charlie has something nice cooked up for us. Did I beat the run that ended? Did I beat the level that ended that run? Yes. I didn't st uh, immediately after. I played it. It took like a hundred lives after. It took like a hundred lives, but we got it eventually. Anything coming out of those? Yes. I don't know what that was about. Whoop! Right. It was a time attack level. That ended the run, if you're wondering. It's actually nice that they gave you this bridge. The bridge makes this a very... Vi and you can you can skip two. In fact, I'll skip two at the end to prove it. You can get away with that. It's just a bit more risky. And since we're still in our first attempt, I want to play it relatively conservative. Don't be a troll. It's not a troll. Quite the opposite. When it's your first try at the level, it's like you want to balance it out. Be risky. Like when I took damage, I wanted to make the most of it. There we go. We got it. That was cool. But I also didn't want to risk it when I was waiting at the flames. So it's a, it's a back and forth. All right, Lewis. Great racing. Thanks for being here. We'll catch you soon, hopefully. Be doing this Monday through Thursday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. That's when you can race for first clear. Is it really 300 seconds? You got it done in a minute. Oh, this looks interesting. A two minute level? Okay, this will be our grand finale. Grand finale. Skipping two, yeah, fair enough, Nathan. I know it. I exactly. Me too. I've mi I've missed a hundred times trying to skip two. So far. It doesn't seem like there are any... ...hazards other than icicles, which I love. But I am a little afraid it's, it's gonna be off screen. What's up, Charlie? What's up, Jen? Shout out to Jen. Okay, there's a couple enemies. So they do exist. This is a really fun platform, people. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Okay, I never imagined that because it had a two-minute clear check. Okay, so maybe that's just... That might be made by, like, a, a younger player or a newer player. And they had to work to get through that. Wow, that makes me respect it even more. Because I don't think I cheesed anything. Did, unless I skipped a whole section somehow, but no, I think I would have noticed. Wow. Well, there we go. First clear. And we ended up... I, since it had the two-minute clear check, I never imagined beating it in a minute. So I guess we do have time for one more. It appears as though we do have time for one more. The road goes on. Here's a three-minute. Okay, let's go with this. Hey, Charlie's heading to Tennessee tomorrow. There you go. Good evening, Yuri.
There you go. Dale's right behind me again. Dale, you might have a shot on this one, too. Well, let the record show. Dale has a shot on all of them. He's a great Mario player. But maybe especially on this one. Let's see if there are... Checkpoints. Oh, I was really banking on that being power. Oh, I think I made a mistake there. Oh my gosh. Oh, bad timing, Patty boy. All right, this is interesting. Any chance you're a power? No, no power anywhere. Any chance this is something? Yeah! Okay, now I feel a lot better. Now I feel a lot worse. Oh! No! Now I feel way worse! Oh, man! So close. All right, fine then. Well, now we know where the secret power is. It's right around here. Not here. Right up here. Just gotta finagle the bagel here a little bit. There you go. Okay, and now... You're not gonna get me this time, buddy. Or you. You're out of your element. There's a thwomp waiting for me, but... I see you. I see you, buddy. It ain't gonna work. I've been playing this game too long to get taken out by that one. What do we have here? How dare you. Pat, speaking of how long you've been playing the game, this is a classic. This is a classic. Am I Matt Pat? No, I wish. I'd have a, I'd, my, my YouTube ad revenue would be life-changing if I was Matt Pat. <laughs> I would love just just a single month of Matt Pat's Google AdSense revenue would wow. Idea. Yeah, this is the thing people, Mario Maker 2, right? As its overall appeal, there's like there's like 10 or so creators that serve like 90% of the demographic. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, I don't know what to compare it to. Ultim oh gosh, the point is it's tough to make too much money with ad money uh, with Mario content, at least for me. Oh my gosh. Whereas MatPat Game Theory, maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I'll take over. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Making game theories of my own. Alright, Pat. You're really making this look like it's tougher than it is. Because I keep trying to finagle the bagel here. There we go. There we go, people. Alright. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da okay, didn't get the first clear. I'm not shocked. I had to try, what, ten times from the second one? Okay, I'm not sure who this is in the chat, but if you are, big shout out to you. Stir's dad. Shout out to Stir's dad. Nice job. Uh, that's Nathan! Yes, okay, that's even, that makes me even happier, Nathan. There we go, you're in the, you're in the, in the mix. Nathan officially got one. Andy got a couple. Lewis got a couple. Um, and there was one more. Lewis. Wasn't there one more? Well, here. I can find out easy enough. That, That's Nathan. This, I wasn't sure. That I got. There's Lewis. Okay, so it, it is 
it's this person. They got they got more than one. So maybe you are on the stream. Shout out to you. That's amazing. Sebastian, that was the other one. Sebastian and Alex. Okay, Alex got a world record, and Sebastian, he was the one I was forgetting. Stir is Sterling. No way. Shout out to Sterling. Wait, is that you, Mr. Blue Goose? Hold everything. Wait a minute. Is this you, Mr. Blue Goose? Because you said THX. I wonder. To the people who love Yoshi's, I love Yoshi. Very tight precision. This is you. No way. Oh, my goodness. Okay, quick bonus to our buddy, Mr. Blue Goose. Very rare bonus situation. I'm not even going to attempt to clear this. But it does happen to be uncleared. And uh, it's the end of the stream. So we're going to take a quick look here. We're going to take a quick look. Shout out, Mr. Blue Goose. Thanks for stopping in. Oh. Oh, my good gracious, buddy. Wow. Okay, you're the real deal, Mr. Blue Goose. You are the real deal, my, my friend. I think I should go duck jump there. Yeah, I think this is duck jump galore. Are you kidding, Mr. Goose? Yeah, I want to do duck jump for both. Oh, my good gracious. Okay, we at least made it. <laughs> we landed that one. Okay, the Pareto principle states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of consequences come from 20% of the causes. Oh, right. So the 20% of the stream is getting 80% of the views. Right. And, but it feels like that's more exaggerating, more exaggerated, depended, depending on the game. Like the bigger the game, a game like Fortnite or Call of Duty, I feel like you could have a real top 100 that would dwarf most of the Mario streamers, you know what I mean? But I guess it's just relative percentage-wise. It's all relative, people. Oh, my goodness. I'm giving it five more tries. And I have to make it at least once. Brandon and Nathan, this is the real deal. Our buddy Blue Goose is a precision... King. <laughs> These are real jumps, people. These aren't the fake ones. Oh, so close. You know, Fortnite Call of Duty, they have they've slacked lately. No, that's true. It's 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 settling into it. I think there's gonna be a a revolution of rhythm game streamers. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna jump in. I'm going to become a rhythm game streamer slash Mario streamer. I just need VR to take off. Yeah! No! <laughs> this is crazy. This is unbelievable. I'm so impressed. Twice in a row. Dude, that jump is crazy. And this, we're not even halfway. VR is starting to get big, uh, Charlie. We just need some more hardware that can... Okay, I am almost locked into that jump, thankfully. I actually am getting a little consistent with jump two here. I mean, jump three. I'm already consistent with jump two. But this is fun. It's obviously insanely difficult. Wow. I don't... Now, that might be my limit right there. I'm not sure if I could get this in even 20 tries because you have to be like as if you're holding right. It's like a corner jump, full momentum to the right. There we go. I am getting better at that. Oh, my goodness, bro. Okay. Oh, just a little more, Pat. <laughs> this is out of control, people. Okay, I could get lost and do this for another five hours. That's the problem. This is the problem with me. This is part of why I'm so scared to play longer levels. 
is because once I start them, I never want to stop them until I just lose my mind. Yeah, no wonder, Nathan. This is <laughs> this is definitely highly skilled precision, people. This is not your regular little spelling out a word precision. Almost twice. Jordan says I can do it. Thank you, Jordan. I think I could. I think I could, too. But I think it would take many hours. At least a full hour. The only saving grace is knowing that it can be done in 20 seconds. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the clear check time. Hold on. Hold everything. Am I? Yeah. The clear, the, the level creator did it in 20 seconds. Try to. Wow. But, you know, it does make sense because once you look at it. So that. That jump right there, where I, the furthest I made it is right there. Oops. The furthest I made it is right here. Dink. And that's just about halfway. We still have that jump. One. You make a tough jump to the right, then a pixel-perfect lineup to the right, and then two more jumps. Wow. I do really like this. <laughs> 20 seconds after he made it. Wow. This is nuts. Saludos, Mr. Perez. The class, the Broncos are watching. No way. Okay, now hold everything. If I got the Broncos watching, I got to give it a couple more tries here. Big shout out to Mr. Perez, one of the coolest teachers ever. One of the ways he'll throw a little reward at the class and says, say, hey, you want a little family-friendly Mario time? Here you go, class. Well, shout out to the Broncos. And shout out to Mr. Perez. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh, people. That is so tough. I can't even convey the difficulty of that one jump. I, I'm surprised every time I make it. Here. Let me give you a, a clue as to how difficult that is, people. Look at Mario right now. I'm literally one pixel. One pixel away from destruction. A single pixel away from destruction. All right. I have... This is as far as I've made it. My landing spot is directly under here. There's a, there's a spike on the left side and the right side of it. So I need to land at least halfway in here. Oh, I was a little early. A very little bit early. Brandon says, awesome play this in class. Shout out to you, Pat. Keep it family friendly. Hey, do the best that I can do. And that's the one the one thing I've been able to consistently deliver on as a streamer is I'm not going to swear or talk about anything too crazy. Oh, my gosh, people. All right, we're back here. I really want to make this jump at least once. Come on, Gallo! Claudio! All right, Pat, come on. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Oh, I overthought it a little bit. <laughs> but we're making it back there. We are making it back there. Oh, my gosh, people. Oh, my good gracious. If you do this jump, I think part of the trick that I'm learning, now that I haven't done it a couple times, not this one. That one, the more momentum you have, the easier it is. But the jump following that... If I have no momentum, oh, if I have no momentum, then a full jump is the right height. Like, this is a very controlled jump. There we go. Nice. There we go. Because, see, I'm getting away with holding the jump button. So between ducking and no momentum, that jump is a lot easier. But now this one. The hardest part is I need to have enough momentum to clear this corner. This is the big issue here, people. It's this corner, the right side. I So part of how you clear it, well, here, I'll give you a little. I can get pretty far off of this uh, block here. But see, if I was to jump right now, I would still take damage. 
So that's part of the trick. Is I if I run with momentum, I will clear that spike. But it has to be about as late of a jump as you can do. Oh, I okay. Well, I did successfully <laughs> successfully jumped far enough off of the block, but I have to immediately correct my course, or else I run right into that spike. Oh my gosh. Five more tries, I know, Nathan. The famous last words. I, uh, this is what I mean, but these levels call out to me. But I need to leave them alone. A little light precision here, Dustin. Just a little, just a little, uh, light precision. Oh my gosh. What's crazy, level like this, is the craters in the chat? Exactly. I mean, I think so anyway. They haven't said anything since... They haven't said anything since we started playing, so I don't know if it was someone just trying to make a joke that because the the level creator was in a different language that we wouldn't be able to confirm or deny that they're telling the truth. I don't know. But... Okay, there you are, Mr. Blue Goose. So is this really you? It's not... It, it's not that I don't trust you. It's that... I got like a 50%. It really is. Okay. Well, we'll take your word for it. Oh my gosh, people. I'm thrilled to be getting that with any kind of consistency. But this one is where I'm really slacking. Well, I'm... Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so torn. The straight skill. Exactly. No, exactly, Nathan. Yes, and I do. I get it. That was your point, is that it's not like, oh, well, there's a hidden star on the top left, or uh, the strategy is press the buttons correctly. Oh, my gosh. And that's the entirety of the strategy, is be good enough to control Mario to get through these gaps without taking damage. There we go. Patty boy, come on. Just do that again. Okay, I should be doing a duck jump there. The same way that I'm getting... It's twofold. Making this jump from here a duck jump, not only does it make it so I have more clearance landing, but it's also making it easier to get clearance past that, that bo the spike on the bottom right, top right, rather. Okay, so I need to duck jump more. I imagine it was ice. I can't imagine it, Charlie. Oh my gosh. It's brutal for more, but the best kind of brutal. This is the kind of brutal I enjoy. Now, some people don't enjoy this kind of brutal. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that, I didn't even realize it. Best help you can give is to, yeah, do better, exactly. And that wouldn't be all that helpful. There we go. Nice, Pat. Come on now. Oh, yeah, the duck is the way to go. I just was late on the jump button. But, yeah, I can feel that that's the way. We need to be doing fast attempts like that. Sai says he would have given up long ago. Well, that the thing about a level like this is once you've beaten a couple, you learn that the struggle you go through as you go, it's not... It, it feels easier and easier the longer you do it. But it's a question of how long it'll take for it to feel easy and to get consistent. Because right now it's feeling easier, but consistency-wise, I'm what? Maybe 33%? Like average? I average 33%? There's a life lesson to this somewhere. I agree for more. <laughs> Muscle memory is definitely playing a part, Brando. That's part of the trick is having some sort of... Oh. Some sort of... Like, the first 30 attempts on a level like this, your your hand is just learning what it feels like to get it right, but more more uh, often it's learning what it feels like to do it wrong. Like, see, I, my hands just took it into consideration that that's what it feels like to press the button for too long. So now that I'm here again, I'm more likely to press it less. And now, not only did I have the visual cue 
but I felt what it felt like to not hold it long enough. So now I should have it. Nope. That time, I, it wasn't an issue of how long I was holding the jump button. It was my position. Now I didn't get far enough right. Back to position. Would spin jumping into the saw and bouncing over be easier? Well, big shout out to my buddy Brian. But that works in ROM hacks. In ROM hacks, Mario can typically spin jump off of the saws. But in Mario Maker, that's not the case. Now, for some reason, I'm in a little re regression period here where now I'm not making this jump. Nice. Almost. We're back. We are back. I can't believe this is your level. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I had to compensate with too much momentum. So it worked. It made, it got me to land, but at what cost? You know, I think that's part of my problem. I think I started taking an extra step. I'm generating more momentum than I need to on this jump. In fact, hold everything. Now, here's another interesting little precision thing I've learned over time. Something I like to check is I'm now just holding down and right on the... Um, on the control pad. It does. See, it almost works. It's almost perfect just holding full jump with just those two. So, yeah, hold everything. A duck jump a little to the left of that block, and I think it might be free. Here's what I mean. As long as we're not hitting, yeah, that. It can't be that far left. But I think if I'm, like, right near the middle, it's going to be a free free jump. Right here. Oh, it's so close. The, the trajectory is just a little too high. So, well, knowing that, is there an adjustment? Can I use that at all? No. Okay, I'm just going to go back to what was working. Almost had a setup. Man, I think maybe I'm letting go of down too early. Am I losing my duck state? There we go. There we go. Come on, Patty boy. You got this. Oh, you did. That was great. That was just one pixel away. I'm only one pixel away. A little too much height. That was looking good, too. I'm trying to tap into... Uh, I'm pulling back too early. That's ultimately one explanation. See, that time it was easier pulling back differently. But I didn't actually land. Wow. This is really tough. It's so good, though, people. I'm so impressed. Doing this in 20 seconds. Maybe I should make a really tough precision level. I think I should. I think I should make a short one like this, but half this length. Oh, that was easier. But why? Why was that easier, Pat? I want to do a lower jump. The lower I jump, the easier it is. That's why that felt a little easier. I did a bit more of a controlled jump on jump three. Here's jump one. Just do the spin jump, Pat. Here's jump one. Jump two. And now here's jump three, low. Yeah. Yeah, I think at some point I started over jumping it. Okay, and now I pulled back too early. We're almost back. We're almost back. I got too much height again. But it's feeling better. We're almost back, people. I think we're going to be getting real attempts in very soon. 
close. If we can lock those two together and be making it to one jump beyond that consistently, we really have a chance. I'm okay with that. It's still close enough. Let's get that momentum back. Yes. Yes. No, but that's what we want to get to. If we can get there, we've got a chance. That's too much height. Obviously. Yes. No. This is very tough, Fernando. This is very tough. Nice. Nice. No. Okay, we're getting there. Though. We're back there, Abby. We're getting back there. Patty boy. Patty boy! Patty boy! No! Okay, that's as far as I've made it. That's as far as I've made it right there, my friends. But the difference is, I made it there like 10 minutes ago. That's the truth. Oh, no, Mr. Blue, what's the end? The level creator just said the end is stupid, which is usually a very, very bad sign. Does it mean the is the last jump like pixel perfect? Almost. I should probably turn back now. Oops. Look for yourself. Okay, let's take a look. I, cause I, I couldn't quite tell what the final jump was when I was looking before, but I'm gonna really look closely here. It's really hard to tell, visually. I know it's the gray blocks. There's there, then up to there. I can't quite tell. I mean, I see that the jump is from this block. We're jumping from here. We have to jump through the saws and then through a gap here. Oh, in the level viewer. I don't you, I don't touch the level viewer because I know Nintendo doesn't like it. And I am paranoid, petrified of Nintendo randomly deciding to shut down Super Pat World. And you could say that's foolish and unreasonable because it seems like it would happen to um, a much bigger streamer before me. But that's just the nature of me being paranoid. Looks like the only available ribbon is between the saw and the spike. So is it is it almost pixel perfect? Or maybe it is pixel perfect. Let's give it one more try. But you know what? I don't think maybe we shouldn't end on a fail. This is what we'll do. I like the level. This is amazing. Better play it safe than sorry. That is a great phrase, Charlie. Look at that. You could beat that if you're a true pro. I'll try it a couple times. I was supposed to end the stream so long ago. One more. I want to see if I'm a true pro. Okay, I see it. Now I see it. Oh, no. Oh, no. How did I avoid it? It just jumped first frame? Oh, no. I think it's a first frame jump that has to be... <laughs> That's the right timing for the jump, but more? Yeah, okay. Bigger jump. Almost there. Hold on now, people. I might be a pro after all. Patty boy, I'm getting closer to being a pro. I'm getting closer. Oh, I'm very close. Oh, no. Is it pixel perfect? 
I just noticed two spike blocks. Oh no, I might not be a pro, people. I need something to bonk my head on. Bigger jump than that. Definitely a duck jump. Oh, yeah, that's right. With the duck, it's not pixel perfect. But it has to be... I have to be moving perfectly straight. So I have to time the twirl right. What did I hit? Top left? I jumped too early? I'm jumping too early. I'm jumping too early every time. It's because that, that saw is moving, and I'm not seeing it. So it's, uh, and I, you know what I want to use as a visual indicator? What's up, Fred? I want to use the spike at the bottom. Right when my foot touches the corner of the spike, that's when I want to jump. Well, putting it together, we're almost a pro. We're, we're inching towards pro status. Oh my goodness. Basically, all the attempts so far, we still have... I, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid. I am so afraid of actually getting onto this this flag. <laughs> That's a first. Oh my good gracious, it's a bigger jump than that, Pat. Okay, bigger jump than that. How many times are you going to underjump it, Patty Boy? There you go. I'd rather you overjump it at this point. Okay, now back to late jump on the spike. Okay, that's overjumping it. Good. No problem. That was my best yet. Okay. Ooh, I'm a, I got this. I'm a pro. This makes Brian's eyes go cross-eyed. <laughs> I hear you. But, get ready, people. I'm about to be a pro. I'm about to be named a pro. I've been waiting four years to become a Mario pro. And now, Thursday, April 11th, this is my day to make it official. <laughs> First frame jump. It means you have one frame. I wonder if it's more. I wonder if it's truly one frame. That's too early. That was the right height jump, though. I, I was... I under-jumped it correctly there. Oh! That was really close. Good job, Pat. You're almost there. A little less... Take a little bit off the jump, though. Take a little bit off the jump. Again, I, I I felt like I got the right height, but I was still too early. We got some serious fire bars here, Super Trucker J. What's up, Sodor? That's right, Sad. We're going pro today. Late jump, Pat. I'm always so focused on under-jumping it that I'm failing to watch the spike at the bottom. Okay, that time I watched the spike at the bottom and I still didn't get the jump. Oh, nice! Okay, that time I finally underjumped it. That's a big step in the right direction. Okay. I'm Now, if we can keep getting there, we have this in five to six tries. Yep, good. Just keep getting there. Very easy to adjust. There it is. What a wild journey that was. <laughs> and I'm a pro! Officially a pro. Patty Boy is officially a pro. There we go. Appreciate you, Mr. Blue Goose. Who knew? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You really are a serious precision player, my good man. 
Wow. All right. Fair enough. Well, there we go, people. We're going to leave it right there. I will be back. 7 p.m. tonight. I will be live everywhere. <laughs> no, not 7 p.m. See, I'm so in the habit. Of, it's a new schedule we're trying out for the rest of April. Now, I'll be live tonight, 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. So stop on by. Playing some Endless Expert with Skips. And tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow is, what we're doing tomorrow. So I can tell you tonight, though. 8.30 to 10.30, Endless Expert. And then I'll be live. Arjun says, you still live or back? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Pro Pat World. There we go. We went pro, people. It's official. Thanks, Abby, Brian, Tawny, Fernando, Maria, Mr. Blue Goose. That's going to do it for me. Big shout out to Lee, our superstar leader, with 500 stars and everyone else that was kind enough to hit with any star shares, follows likes, gifted subs, all of the above. Thank you so much for your love and support. And if you are someone that struggles with depression or anxiety, you are not alone in that struggle, my friend. That's something I struggle with. And there are a lot of us struggling, so if you're one of them, make sure you got someone in your life you can talk to about it, a friend, family member, loved one, a therapist, and try to get some movement in your life. Take a walk outside, get your headphones in, your favorite music playing can make a big difference in your day, your physical health, and your mental health. So, I encourage you with that. Hold on to hope. Believe better days are coming. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, what I, what I want to pivot to is to say it's okay if you're struggling out there. Oftentimes on social media, it's one big highlight reel. And it, you don't see all that many people openly struggling out there. So I'm here to say, hey, if you struggle, I struggle too. I'm here to tell you that and to let you know that when you're in that struggle, it feels like nothing's going to get better. It feels like things are only going to get worse. So I'm just wanting to remind you it's not true. It feels that way. It's a valid feeling, but it's not accurate. It's not true. There's some great stuff for you in your future. But you're not going to know until you get there. So just keep on doing your best. That's all you can do. Proud of you for making it this far, and I hope to catch up with you tonight, 8.30 to 10.30. Until then, have an amazing rest of your day.